this video we will continue on with the second part of importing in external tree inventory data into an iTree Eco version 5 complete inventory project. So if you recall from our last video we created a import template using the iTree Eco project. I'm going to open that up just to show you what that looks like. And the reason I like using this as opposed to trying to make up a database from scratch is that this has all the data fields properly formatted and the data types that you will need. So it is quite a bit to replicate this from scratch and it is much easier and I recommend highly using this because it has everything created correctly. If you try to replicate this on your own, it can be quite cumbersome to match up all these data types properly. We'll come back to this one in a second. So the other thing we wanted to look at is the actual inventory data that we have. And what I recommend is that you try working with a subset if you have a very large data set. So if you have 8,000, 5,000, even 1,000 trees, just work with a dozen or 20 it'll give you a better idea of what's needed so that you don't waste a lot of time reformatting a huge amount of data and then realize that you have to make some major corrections. So this is a nice example here, just uh, nine trees and it'll give us something rather easy to work with. So again, this is highly critical in terms of the field names that are used so we can match these up what's in the manual or we could also go back to the database so these have to correspond accordingly with the inventory that we have in this Excel spreadsheet so there are a couple things that I notice and it's to your advantage if you can correct things in the spreadsheet unless you're very comfortable working in the access environment I'll open up a copy of this just so I can show you some of the things that may potentially cause problems so below is the same data, but just slightly modified. And you can see where I have things highlighted. So the date format, I just change this to date so that it would appear as a date. One of the other things that I noticed here is that there was a DBH1, 2, and then it went to DBH4. So I added in a DBH3 in that field. Other things that may cause problems, feels like the crown dieback, where it's a 7.5%. Eco should be able to handle that, but usually that should be a whole number. So all I would do in a case like this is round it up to 8. I'm going to leave this at 7.5, and, and we'll see if it rounds it up properly. So once we have our external data formatted properly, as best we can, what we want to do is append that data into our template database. So I'm going to work with the template import database and it has the full inventory trees table and what I'm going to do is use the external data function and import in or append I should say that Microsoft Access file. So I'll browse to that location. And what I'm going to do is try to import in the original first. Even though there's a couple potential issues, we'll see if the database will accept it. So we didn't encounter any errors and if we double click on the full inventory trees table we should then see our nine records that we imported and you'll notice even though there are fields that we didn't use that they are still part of this table such as the energy effect and all the pest fields so we didn't have to have all that information but it still is part of the actual database that we need so we will just select file save and we'll close this out so now that we have our import database populated with the tree inventory information we can try to import that into our actual eco project 
So you can see here, locate your source database at the top of this dialog screen. And it's pointing to that Warsaw import db.mdb file. And what I'm going to do is just select import. And so the error tab lit up. And what it's telling me is that there is an invalid species code. So this is common. It's, it's very rare that you will import a large data set and not have to go back and resolve some issues. This is a small one, but it's just an easy example to show you what an error code looks like. So we can go back to this tree and correct this. So I'll open up the import template again. And I know that this one is actually species code AC. We'll save this, close it out, and we'll go back to iTree Eco. We're still pointing to that same database. So all I'm going to do here is hit import again and see if that fix resolved the issue. And it did. So we can see here that it successfully imported in nine trees into the project. We can then close the importing function back down. We're now into the main project section. And if we were to hit edit, enter edit data, we then will see our nine trees here. So we brought the tree inventory data into the eco project. And if it all checks out, we could then submit it for processing. Since this is an example using an international data set, there would be additional requirements such as requiring pollution data, but you can get the idea of the import process.